I built a priming line because my water pump is does not seem to be priming. So I built an addition. I'm going to reveal on this video if it works or not. And if it works, then I'm going to be sending Max One Chase One some chocolate chip cookies and also some props to Full Frontal Life. Because both of those YouTubers had one of these and they have the same problem with the water line just not pressurizing. So I, I built this in and so that that's a T right there off the pump. Then it it comes up over here and connects to the water line which goes down to the tank. I used more parts than I needed to because you know we're we're in COVID and that's all the hardware store had so you gotta be adaptable right so then over here it's um, going to from that T over and up just an elbow to this ball valve where I'll be able to shut it off um, but this is the priming line so I've got the priming line going into a big jug of water so I can test that out so you're going to get to see the the full reveal here and see if it works along with me. Um, I apologize in advance for uh, any foul language that might come out of my mouth if it doesn't work. Uh, I'll, I'll be mindful of that as best I can. I'm just making sure everything's tight. Okay, so, well, here we go. Come over here, turn on that water pump. Water pump's definitely working. Just started pulling down the water, so that's good. So it should be pressurizing. I can actually hear the hot water tank filling up. Um, my real question is, is once I turn on these faucets, am I gonna get the same symptoms or not? Um, there's the water line. That's interesting. The water is going into the tank, so the air that's in the tank, that's interesting. So let me uh, open up these faucets and see what happens. I'm going to start with the bathroom. Oh shoot. You know what? I forgot to, um, I took this apart, so let me see. Ooh, that's really the first time that's ever happened where the water pump turned off. Okay. That means it's pressurized. This is a really good sign. Okay, I think that's tight enough. If it's not, we'll have water going everywhere. So let me see what happens here. Oop, I got water everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna uh, join these videos later. I'm gonna tighten that up, hold on. Okay, let's just see what happens because that might actually be where there's an air leak. I tightened it up. Okay, the water went over to the shower and that is turned off. Okay, there's the, that's pretty good pressure. That has, I have not seen that yet. Water pump kicked back on. So I'm gonna turn this off in order to get um, faucet water. I think I have to push this down. Okay, I'm still not understanding that whole thing. Maybe somebody on YouTube's gotta show me that. All right, I'm gonna, leave that up and it's real loud because I don't have the water pump um, screwed down right now because I just need to make sure I had enough room there let's see that's that's looking really really good oh my goodness max chase max one chase one uh, thank you I think you may have fixed it for me let me shut off the priming line so I don't add just a bunch of air when it's done see what happens as it pulls water out of the water tank itself. So I just shut off that T-valve there. The water should be coming from the water tank now. That is the best water pressure I have seen. I'm getting pretty excited. I'm seeing this back here. Water is life, y'all. Water is life. Um, okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see what's going on over here. 
So, yeah, wow, okay. So we got that on. I feel like turning everything on right now. I'm not really sure what to do, I'm so excited. So I got the shower going. Good pressure there. The water pump is not shut off yet, so um, that means it hasn't gotten up all the pressure quite yet, but that's okay because the water is coming through steady. That's not what was happening before. If you saw Full Frontal Life's video on this, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm happy to link that in my description. Anyway, things are looking way better than they ever have. I'm gonna keep working this. I'm so happy, so thankful to YouTubers who are figuring this stuff out because, yep, it's universal. The owner's manual does not have near enough information in it. Oh well. All right. Bye everyone. Epilogue. Turns out, all you have to do is completely fill the water tank all the way so that you hear little air bubbles escaping through this little thing and then seal it up and turn it on turn on your faucets and it'll work you actually don't need the priming thing that whole setup you don't have to build it uh, just another lesson in if you do build it you'll never need it again so I mean there's some value there, um, but I think also it's important to just, you know, try, try the obvious things and don't give up on those first. And then just know if you do go to the extra trouble and the extra weeks of living with no water um, and then designing your own, uh, you know, equipment like the priming um, piece that I did. Uh, you you're not gonna need it again um, yeah so that's a little bit of what this whole thing is like